Sylvia Fowles and I'm a professional basketball player. I'm Todd Troxell, a player development coach. And today we're going to talk about defense and not letting your offense dictate where they want to be. A couple drills that Syl and I do is really keeping the defender from going where they want to go. First is, Syl's going to be strong, a big base. She's going to protect herself and have her arms out and be big. So when I push on her, she ain't going to let me in the paint. And one way you got to do that is you also got to be able to move your feet mm -hmm. and shuffle while playing defense. So the first drill we're going to do is Syl's going to keep me out of the paint. I'm going to push on her and she's going to keep me by having a good foundation out of the paint the whole time around and back around the other lane. Here we go. Keeps me out, keeps me out, keeps me out, keeps me out. Comes back, switches arms, keeps me out, keeps me out, keeps me out, keeps me out. Now that's one way to keep your player from getting out of the paint. The second way, the best defenders play defense before the ball's caught. Most of the time, your post players that you're defending are gonna run down the lane either from either elbow. What Syl's gonna do is she's gonna meet me early. If she's standing here, she has all the right to this space. If the offensive player runs through her, it's a charge. She's gonna meet that offensive player early and flush him away from the block. Like this. Comes to the side, flushes me out, doesn't allow me to post. Show you on the other side, same thing. Post player comes down, wants to post up at the block, still meets early, pushes me out. That's another way to keep your post player from going where you want to go. Okay, now the third drill, a lot of times as a big, you're gonna be caught in a pick and roll. Mm -hmm. and it's very important that you're able to help your other defender, your teammate, by also be able to contain your own offensive player at the same time. Now, people move strongest, the way you move someone's at their core. If I push Syl up top, she ain't gonna really move much. If I push into her core, she's gonna move. So one thing Syl's gonna do when I come up and set a screen is first of all, she's gonna come early. Uh -huh. If she sees the offensive player coming, Syl's gonna get big. Now Syl's got long arms, so she's gonna come out and try to get that offensive player not to be able to go on a straight path, but to push out. The other thing Syl does is she gets her arm right here on my core, so I can't just take off to the basket. Referees probably aren't gonna call this about 90% of the time. You might get it every once in a while, but the amount of times you're in a pick and roll, you gotta be able to guard your man and help. But it's not a hold, it's it, just a rest, rest. You rest, so if she slipped, you can be able to react. So she's gonna stop me for a second, I come and set a screen, she's big, she stops me, and then she's able to get back. Now, if you're able to make your offensive player go where they don't want to go, and you're also able to help in pick and rolls and contain your offensive player while helping your teammate, you're going to be a very good defender. And then it's important that you do to them that you don't want them to do to you. So be patient. Make sure you got good spacing. Help your teammates out. Don't hold. Move your feet. Don't get in foul trouble. I'm Sylvia Fowles, and that's how you play defense on the ball.